Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. As I'm filming this, it is a beautiful, muggy type of Sunday morning. So I have my cup of coffee here and I'm wearing my pajamas. Um, you can't really see my pants. There we go, <laughs> you can see them, yeah. It's kind of a little bit of a, uh, we got some plaid action going on. So um, yeah, decided why the heck not? Why not wear my pajamas and drink coffee and show you my thrifting items? So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you my thrifts from last weekend when I went to the Goodwill bins. Um, it's more of like a gaming type of thrift haul, but I also got some cool random clothes that I'm gonna try to throw up on Poshmark. So um, I'm gonna show you guys that today while I drink my coffee and it's gonna be kind of a casual Sunday morning thrifting ordeal, so. Let's get started. Okay, friends, I am so excited to get started. First of all, I just wanna point out my cute mug. I found this at the bins along with a an identical mug just like this, and I had to grab both of them. And it is just the cutest thing. Isn't that penguin the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? I had to get both of them because I felt like they were family. So I had to, I had to get both. So now I have two of the same mug. So I think I might give the other one away at some point, but yes i'm drinking coffee out of this beautiful mug and now i'm gonna show you my thrifts here we go okay so this first item i found in the middle of a bunch of clothes in the bins at the goodwill outlet and if you've never been to the goodwill outlet before then you probably wouldn't know that the clothes the shoes the books the glassware the home decor everything is thrown into bins it is not hung up neatly on racks they are not placed beautifully on shelves and <laughs> they're not displayed beautifully at all they're just in bins and you kind of as a reseller or a thrifter you kind of just have to go through and pick through and see what you find and you find what you find and you find what you don't find so I think that's the fun of it though because I kind of go because I really enjoy it and I really enjoy the hunt and finding things like this and brand items are not so easy to find so I was very surprised when I found this item and this item is a zip up jacket from vineyard vines like i said i was super surprised to find this and you see that tag is really beautifully made right there I'm trying to show you guys yeah so if it if it zoomed in and you guys saw it it's uh really beautifully stitched in there and there's nothing wrong with that uh at least and so this is an extra small definitely would not fit me but i thought it was a beautiful jacket it kind of reminded me of a fourth of july type wear uh, we have the navy blue here, and then we have the red on the back of the hood, and then we have these drawstring type of um, strings <laughs> on the hood to kind of like pull it in and uh, cinch in the hood a little bit. This jacket, I was very surprised to even find it, like I said, but I was very surprised that it was in as good condition as it was in. Um, I loved the star effect on here. On the inside, it's kind of a... It's kind of soft, but at the same time, it's kind of just like a lightweight type of feeling. I should know some of these um, these types of materials. I used to work at Joanne Fabrics, so I should definitely know some of these things, but I don't, so forgive me. But like I said, an extra small. I wish it fit me because it's super cute. And the zip up jackets are kind of coming back in style from what I know, or maybe I'm just an old lady and think some things are in style, but things some things are not. But yeah, I, uh, I've been seeing a lot of um, the zip-up jackets, the track suits, different kinds of things are coming back in style now. So I'm hoping to get at least 15, 10 to 15, maybe $20 from this. I saw a replica of this on eBay and they're selling it for like 24. So I'm gonna throw this up on eBay probably in Poshmark and we're gonna see what I uh, get for it. If anyone watching this video has been to the Goodwill bins and found a Vineyard Vines uh, t-shirt, jacket, anything, uh, what was it? Tell me what it was uh, and what you sold it for. If you sold it or if you kept it, just let me know if you found it because like I said, I was very surprised to find this in there. I don't often find uh, brand, name, brand name items or things that are in very good condition because if you've ever been to the Goodwill bins then you know that sometimes things are not as in great condition because you know when people donate clothes sometimes they're very worn and um, other times they're in very good condition so I was very surprised to find this and um, I kind of want to keep it for myself but I guess uh, I'm not gonna do that <laughs> 
<laughs> I wish I could, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. So let me know what you guys found and uh, I'm going to move on to the the next one. We're, we're just going to keep on rocking and rolling here. The next item that I found, I truly wanted to keep. I actually haven't even tried this on, but it is around my size. So I am hoping <laughs> that maybe it doesn't sell. I don't know. I actually don't need it because I have a million of these, but I found this adorable champion tennis skirt and it is in amazing condition. Let me show you the back. There is a cute little pocket on the back. It is so adorable. It is jet black. As you can see, the size is medium. The tags are in very great condition too. And I don't know if anybody else does this, but sometimes I look at the tags and see if there's wear on the tags to determine how good of condition the clothing is in. If anybody else does that, let me know because maybe I'm crazy for doing that. But I, I sometimes do that just because sometimes if the tag is like darker or if you can tell that it's like kind of ripped off or worn, you can just kind of tell that way. So I, I look at the tags when, when I consider how good of condition that something is in, but of course you have to look at the physical appearance of it as well. And I actually just loved this because the, the strings that are on this are kind of stretchy. They kind of remind me of a nice elastic and at, at the bottom there are little, I don't even know what these would be, like metallic type of things. If you can determine what that is, let me know because um, it just it just looks like a really nice quality piece. I actually have not looked up how much this would be, but from my past experience with buying tennis skirts, I know that they can be pretty expensive. So if I could guess, this was probably anywhere between thirty and forty dollars. And with as good condition as it's in, I am hoping to maybe make twenty off of it. We're gonna see. The actual material of this from the tags is polyester and spandex and then there's a short liner in here as well so uh, if you're a tennis player or if you just like wearing tennis skirts you know that a good condition a uh, good quality tennis skirt can really make a, a big difference so like i said i kind of uh kind of wanted to keep this for myself but i think i might uh resell it just because i have so many tennis skirts i used to be a tennis player or still slash kind of am but I haven't played in a while, so I can just say I'm a retired tennis player. And uh, I know a good tennis skirt when I see one, so I'm hoping to make some, some decent um, cash off of this. And I thought the pockets were really cute. I don't know if a tennis ball would fit in there. It's not, it kind of looks like it would, but nice little decent cute tennis skirt, especially since it's Champion. And Champion is coming back in style too. I remember hearing from some older friends that I have that Champion used to be something that people didn't really like or it was kind of just one of those brands that people made fun of back in the day and I don't even understand why because Champion is so cute and if you're gonna be a brand snob then don't be here. <laughs> don't join this. <laughs> I'm just joking but anyways I will let you guys know how this does. Um, or if you even want to check out my Poshmark, I have it linked on my YouTube cover picture type thing. So if you want to go on there and check that out, if you're interested in the skirt, please do that. This next piece that I found is actually a men's piece. And I would never have picked up this men's piece if I did not think that there was some resale value to it. I have actually had terrible luck selling anything men's on eBay, Poshmark anywhere. I have not had any luck selling anything men's and I've tried to justify it in my head like okay maybe men are not on Poshmark or maybe maybe I'm not displaying it correctly or something so if you have had luck selling anything men's let me know because maybe I need to take tips from you. I have had great luck selling women's but nothing with men's but I picked this up because I thought it was a really cute piece and maybe I could uh, kind of show this off and make up uh, kind of display this towards a woman audience or my girlies out there because I have found that girls rock button down pieces. As you can see, this is a plaid, super good condition, super soft Cabela's Outfitter series button down shirt. It is an extra large, so it's super roomy. I'm just assuming that this is men's just because of the way that it looks and how long the arms are, but I have seen 
so many women out there wearing these button-down shirts that they've either thrifted or maybe got from their dads or somebody else and they've just rocked them you, you know you wear shorts with it leggings it ends up being super cute so i thought about gearing this item towards um the women out there too if, if they were interested in using it but cabela's is actually a really really nice brand they <laughs> their prices are pretty expensive and i'm sure some of you guys know that if you sh uh, shop at cabela's so yeah i saw this super good condition the the feeling of the material is very soft there was no problem with anything on the outside of this shirt nothing on the inside the only problem that i found with this button down was the collar and as you can see you can you can kind of see little worn holes on them so i was a little concerned about that but i thought i think a lot of vintage things are coming back into style and if you're buying used clothes anyway, you know sometimes what you're getting when you go into it. And you know, I spent a dollar on this, so if nobody ends up buying it, maybe I'll wear it or maybe I'll donate it or something. You know, it's a dollar, a <laughs> dollar wasted, a dollar investment. It's okay though. Um, the hunt and the find for this kind of thing was, was really fun anyway, but that's kind of part of it. Just finding clothes that maybe you could wear or somebody else could wear and um, even reselling them. You know what, that's, that's a really good part of it too. The main part of going to the Goodwill bins for me is I love the hunt, I love reselling, and we're also keeping some of that clothing out of the landfill. So dollar to keep this out of the landfill, maybe bring some life back to it because it is in such good condition besides the collar. I'm gonna take that chance. I think it is absolutely hilarious that a lot of these clothes that I've shown you so far have zero connection to each other whatsoever. I've seen some thrifting videos where people are like, oh, edgy thrift haul or cute sweater thrift haul. And I'm like, I just have a bunch of random crap that I bought that I hope sells. So maybe next time I will provide you guys with a video that is like themed, like, oh, I picked up these items themed specifically for what this video is gonna be about. But yeah, I did not do that this time. It's like a random thrift haul. And I will be getting to the games a little bit later. <laughs> but this next item that I found is a brand that I only find thrifting, which is weird. Um, but I know they're still up and running. I know they're still doing uh, good things, but this is kind of a vintage piece, but it is a life is good shirt. And I actually really, really like this brand. I only find it when I'm thrifting. It says, get lost, get found, life is good. And it kind of looks a little worn, but I've decided that I'm sure that this t-shirt has been worn a lot. It is super soft, but I think it's the way that it was styled. I think that it was printed like this and that it, it's supposed to look like a vintage worn kind of look, but you can tell that this shirt has been worn because, I don't know, just because of the way that it feels. I don't know if you guys can tell that sometimes, but the back is super cute because it has that life is good little logo on the back and there's nothing else, it's just, cute little t-shirt. I kind of wanted to keep this for myself because, you know, I just love clothes. I don't need any more clothes, but I just loved it. There, uh, this size is a medium. Definitely just a cute little lounge t-shirt. I thought about wearing this in the video, but then I would want to keep it and I can't do that. So I'm hoping to get maybe $10, $15 off of this. A lot of the clothes that I got, definitely not big spenders <laughs> not gonna make me a ton of money i actually do have one item that might make some good money but uh you know bringing some life back into this one like i said super fun little t-shirt really liked finding this one i was super excited and just I, I cannot get over how soft it is too so i might have to reiterate that on ebay or my poshmark because I'm here for the softness. This next piece that I found I thought was super adorable and the brand is CJ Banks. CJ Banks. I do not have this on a hanger but I should. This is a 1x cute adorable sweater and what I'm guessing I really love the clasps type of things on that like the little how cute that is like they have a little woven type of look on there and then this part is adorable. And so I found this in the bins as well. It came with this extra little, ugh, I don't even know what it's called. Like the clasp thing that's on here. 
So it came with an extra one of those if one of these falls off, but super good condition. It makes me think that this person maybe worn that wore this one time. So I am I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited to put this up on Poshmark. I'm I'm imagining maybe somebody wearing like a um like a long sleeve turtleneck or something under this. That's that's probably how I would style it because I feel like I'm 90 years old and I'm <laughs> wearing turtlenecks all the time. And you know, it's just in the style, but super excited when I found this piece. I'm hoping maybe to make $20 off of it. We're, we're gonna see what happens. The total that I spent on this haul, which I'll probably uh, just show you everything at the end when you kind of see everything, but I've spent $25 on everything. So I would be making my money back and more. If you guys have found anything CJ Banks, uh, let me know and how it sells. I just thought it was super cute. It's probably something that I would wear. Definitely um, doesn't fit me, but we're gonna see what happens with it. I'm really excited. And I really like the, the knitting in this. It looks beautifully hand knitted, if that's even a word. Although it is CJ Banks, it's just beautifully hand knitted with um, navy blue and the white. It's just kind of a really cool contrast look. Beautiful piece. We're gonna see what happens with it. Maybe 10, $20. We're gonna see. This next piece I think is my favorite piece of my entire thrift haul last weekend and the only reason I recognized this brand was because I have this exact same thing but in a different color. So I saw this and I was like oh I'm grabbing it because that's mine. So what I found was this beautiful vintage JG Hook coat. It is 100% wool. It is the classiest coat I think I've ever seen. Like I said, I have this exact coat in navy blue and unless my eyes are deceiving me, this is black. This has to be black. Yeah, it is. This is beautiful, beautiful. So beautiful, so classy. I wanted to keep this so I had two different colors but I didn't want to be that person. So the inside of the jacket, I believe is a type of linen. I should know this since I worked at Joann's but again, I don't. Um, beautiful type of linen. There is no flaws on this coat whatsoever. This It smells normal. The inside of the coat, such good condition. The only problem is I don't see a size. And from what I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's a 10 to a 14, 10 to 12 to 14 in women's. The buttons I think are my favorite part. Let me see if I can pull one up for you because they're kind of hiding. Oh, here we go. The buttons are so pretty, so, so pretty. So my mom actually, uh, she gave me the coat that I have now and we got it from my grandmother. So her mother, I believe. So it's been in the family for a while. Um, really, really classy coat. And when I found this, I was like, oh, it's the same thing. I gotta have it. Those coats brand new are a couple hundred dollars. And so I'm hoping to get at least 75 from this coat just because of how classy how uh, great this brand is specifically. So we're gonna see what happens with that. I really wanted to keep it myself. Um, I am about five, 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 six, and this coat comes down to a couple inches above my ankles. Um, so great length. Um, it's a little big um, with the sleeves for me, but still such a beautiful coat. So I was so happy to find this. Um, everything about it is perfect, so I'm, I'm hoping that this coat can go to a new home and, uh, you know, make some money off of it. Most importantly though, this is going to stay out of the landfill and uh, it's going to go to a, a, someone who's actually going to wear it and use it and uh, I was so happy to find this, so I hope, I hope somebody gets somewhere out of it and finds it and loves it just as much as I do, so yeah, I was very excited to find this. All right, that was kind of it for the clothing that I had and near the beginning of this video I told you that this was kind of a gaming thrift haul type of thing with some random clothes spread in there and I wasn't lying. Not the type of gaming that you think. It's not like PS4, Xbox type of gaming. They're board games. That kind of gaming. So my favorite kind of gaming. And I kind of want to keep some of these things because sometimes games can be pretty expensive. I mean, every time I'm at Target or Walmart or wherever, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the games and I'm like, okay, how much is that? Like, I just think it's such a bonding experience. So that's why I picked them up and I bought three of them. I'm going to definitely keep one of them. 
and yeah i'm just gonna show you guys because i thought it was kind of cool that i found all of these brand new mind you i found these at the bins but the first game i found was speech breaker i was so excited when i found this because it is kind of like a reporting game it says on the back reporting live from the scene you put on on the game headphones and talk into the mic get your teammates to guess the scene without saying any of the words on the card i just thought it was a super cool game i actually looked up what this would cost um if i were to resell it and i probably wouldn't make much money on this at all that's probably a reason why this was sitting in the pins to be honest but i i almost kind of grabbed this for myself but i i just wanted to see what would happen i don't know at walmart they're selling this for a whole four dollars so if someone wanted this at walmart i guess they could go and get it for four dollars i don't know that's what it said online at least on amazon they're selling this for 10 so maybe i could sell it on facebook marketplace and you know ditch the whole seller's fees and things like that and um sell it for five or ten we're, go we're gonna see what happens i almost kind of want to keep it because i just love games so <laughs> we're gonna see what happens if you think i should sell it if you think i should keep it let me know I don't know if the uh, the cost of what I paid for it, I think was a dollar, but I, I don't know. I think the rate of return, I don't know, would be worth it. If you think it would be, let me know in the comments below. The next game that I found is Sagrada. Has anybody ever played this? Because I have not. You can tell that it is still in the original packaging. You can kind of see the glare on that. Yeah, it's super shiny. So. It is a dice game, a game of dice drafting and window crafting. I was actually at Target yesterday and they were selling this game for $40. I was so surprised. I got this for maybe two and maybe the speech breaker for two. The price per pound at my Goodwill outlet is $1.19. And I'm trying to guess the weight of some of these things. So maybe this was two or $3. I'm not really sure, but I don't know, I just have such a love for games and that bonding experience that I'm like, I want to keep it, but I, I don't know. We're going to see what happens with this. Those, these last two were things that I'm like, okay, should I keep them? Should I not? They're brand new. I don't know because brand new games are sometimes really expensive, but we're just going to see. If this was selling for $40 at Target, I think this is going for 30 maybe on Amazon. So we're just, we're just going to see what happens. Maybe I'll throw it up on Facebook Marketplace and someone will buy it. If anything, maybe I'll get 20, 15, 20 dollars out, out of it. We're gonna see. Sounds like a fun game though. If anyone wants to play, just let me know because maybe I'll open it. So this last game I was the most excited about and I actually had to rip the original packaging off of it because when I saw it, I thought of my boyfriend because he is such a Star Wars guru or you could say nerd, whatever. But I found this Star Wars trivia game and I was really, really excited to find this because it was brand new. And sometimes at the bins, I get really weird about finding games that are opened because you never know if someone just donated it because they lost a part to it or a piece or a card or whatever. So <laughs> I guess I'm just really picky. I, I just want all the pieces to be there. So this had the original packaging on it. It was actually ripped on the side a little bit, but you could tell that nobody had opened it. It was just like... It was still in the packaging, it was just ripped on the side. So I kind of ripped it off from the side and took it all off and all the packaging on the inside was good. You could tell that everything was there. I was super surprised to see that this exact game is selling for $65 on Walmart's website and it's selling for 32 on Amazon. So this is the piece that I can't sell. <laughs> I just can't sell it just because of how expensive it is. And it looks really fun. It's a really fun Star Wars trivia game. I was just so excited to find this game. I mean, because what's not to like about it? You got 650 trivia questions. You got lightsabers. What more could you need? Definitely not selling this one. I just thought this was a really good find. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe. It would mean the world to me if you did that. Um, let me know what you think I should do with those other games, if you think I should keep them, if you think it'd be worth selling them. Um, I am a game person. <laughs> if you're a game person too, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think about my other clothing items too that I got. I'm excited to hear what you guys think about it. And if you found anything cool about thrifting, whether it's at the Goodwill bins or 
whether it's at your favorite thrift store, let me know in the comments below. I love seeing things that people find while they're thrifting. I just think it's such a cool journey and a really cool experience. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.